Maximum drawdown is a super important metric to understand in trading. So in this video, I'll show you why it's important, how it's used, and I'll explain the formula to you and how you can use that in Excel to calculate your maximum drawdown. All right, this is maximum drawdown explained. And I did have a video on this before, but I noticed that there was an error in it. So sorry about that. And I'm making this new video to correct that error and explain the concept a little bit better. Maximum drawdown is simply the largest percentage drawdown in an account balance between new highs. And I'll show you that graphically in a minute, but just keep that in mind. Next, it's one of the primary ways to measure the total risk of a trading strategy or a trader's track record. So this is really important when people are looking to invest in you, in you as a trader. They're gonna look at your maximum drawdown. And when you're back testing, it's important to know your maximum drawdown also for that strategy. So it helps you understand how much you could lose after back testing a strategy. So for example, let's say you back tested a strategy with a certain set of rules and you had a 20% drawdown and then you tweaked the rules a little bit and then you had like a 60% drawdown. Now, even though the second method may have returned more, the drawdown was bigger. So you have to ask yourself, which one can you tolerate? Can you tolerate the, the 20%, which most people can, um, but anything more than that, a lot of people freak out. So that's why it's important to know your maximum drawdown of a system, especially when you're back testing. And one final note here, this formula calculates the percent drawdown by using the running account balance. All right, so here's a quick graphical representation of how maximum drawdown works. So. Let's see that this is our graph. This is our percent um, gain, and this is time. So let's say that your account balance went up and then it came down and then it came back up again, right? So this is gonna, this was your previous high. This was the low, this is the drawdown. So the part in between here is currently your max drawdown. Right now, let's say that your chart goes up again like this, and then it comes like this, and it goes like this, but it doesn't quite hit that previous um, high watermark or the high um, of the account. So uh, that's not gonna. This is not your maximum drawdown yet. So let's say that price comes down or the performance comes down here, and then it comes and makes a new high and breaks this this level, this previous high. So this is now the maximum drawdown of your account from here to here. So that's all you're looking for, the lowest percentage performance between new highs. Before I get into the actual Excel formula, I wanted to give you a simpler version of what it's doing because if you look at it and you're not familiar with Excel, the formula can look really complex and confusing. So this will break it down for you and help you understand what it's doing. So for example, let's say that you had a $10,000 account, you lost $1,000, so your new balance is gonna be $9,000. So in order to calculate the percent loss, you're gonna subtract $10,000 or the original balance from the new balance, which is $9,000, and you're gonna divide that by the original balance. So in this case, it's gonna be negative $1,000 divided by $10,000 or negative 0.1, or it's a 10% loss. So when you look at the Excel formula coming up, just realize that this is all it's basically doing. All right, now let's get into the formula for Excel, or you could use this for any other spreadsheet program, but this is the formula. So I'm gonna go through each component one by one uh, to explain it. So the first part is min, that's minimum. So that tells Excel, show me the smallest number or the biggest drawdown from each calculated value in the current series. So that series is gonna be all of the account balances before that current cell that you're analyzing or that current balance that you're analyzing. Um, next is gonna be the A1 minus max. And A1 is just that cell that has your account uh, balance in it, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna subtract the value of the current cell from the largest account value in the current series to get the drawdown from the current all-time high. Then in the next part of the formula, you're gonna take that uh, drawdown in dollars or whatever your account is denominated in, and you're gonna divide that by the biggest account balance in the series up until that point, and that's gonna give you the percentage loss, in this case, the, the percentage loss um, up until this point. And then there's a zero at the end, uh, Excel automatically puts that in for some reason. Uh, I tested it with Mac OS numbers and it doesn't require that zero. So some programs might need it, some might not. All right, now let's get into an actual demo on a back test that I did and you'll see these concepts in action. Okay, these are my actual back testing results from a strategy that I tested. And uh, just for testing purposes, I started the account off at $10,000. So what you're gonna want to do is have a running account balance. As you can see, I have that all set up here. 
And then the formula is going to go in here. You can disregard these two columns here. They're just for wins and losses. But um, this is where the formula gets put in. So as you can see, that's the formula that I had from the uh, slide. And as we move through these lines, you'll start to see how this works. So um, I had a bunch of winners, four winners here. One, two, three, four. Yep. And then the fifth trade was a loser. So I lost 2% on that trade. So this is a good illustration of the formula in action. These will register zero because these values are the highest values across the series, right? This is the series here, all the previous trades. If you go back to the equation and you're looking at AD, um, 85, which is the first uh, cell here, and then the series is going to be 85 to 88. So that's all the numbers that you're looking at. Now within that series, you're looking for the max. The maximum value is going to be the current value. So you're going to subtract the current value, which is 88, minus the max of this current series, which is also 88. So you're going to get zero and that gives you zero. Now when there's a drawdown, it's going to be a different story because this is a series now. And when you subtract the max of this series, it's going to be this value. And you're going to subtract 89, which is the current value, right? So that's going to give you a drawdown. In this case, the drawdown is 2%. So as you go through this, I just copied the, uh, the formula all the way down. And then at the top here, I did a min. So I'm looking for the smallest value, or in other words, the biggest drawdown of this entire series. And for this trading strategy, the biggest drawdown was 10.8%, which is really good. So that's how you do it. You just do a running balance in one column and you add any winners, you subtract any losers, and then you apply the max drawdown uh, calculation to that column. And then you just drag it all the way down and then you will start to see all of the drawdowns and um, how long it takes to get out of the drawdown. And then at the top of the column or the bottom of the column, you can uh, do a min and that will show you the biggest drawdown that you have. All right, so that's how maximum drawdown works. Now, if you're interested in that trading system that I had back tested, I give you the full results and all the rules for that trading strategy in my resonant value report. You can find that link in the description below. If you have any questions about maximum drawdown, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications to get future videos. And thanks for watching.